Okay, so let's see. The big square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square. Um, it would be nice to visualize all these in the same place. So let's, uh, let's stuff all these fractions into the same box. I think I'll try drawing them down here. And I could stack them. I could put all these guys on top of each other. Um, I'm not sure what that would tell me, though. Um, I guess if I drew them inside the box so that they didn't overlap, then I could figure out um, what their sum is. So let's do that. So let's take the uh, take a half. Start with that picture. And then I'll move the quarter over so it doesn't overlap the half. So I'll just draw him over here. And then I'll take the eighth. How should I draw the eighth? Um, well, I could put him in this little box down here since there's room. Um, maybe I'll turn him sideways just to match the other rectangle. Say all our rectangles should be standing up. And then there's still room, happily, for this little green square. That's the 16th. So let's put the 16th in, say here. Of course you could do this lots of different ways. And then I'll put the 32nd here. I'm already thinking about in how many ways could I actually do this? Could I shuffle around these little puzzle pieces? Um, some of them wouldn't look so nice, but maybe some of them would. So there's two little helper squares left for my 164th. So I'll drop him in down here. So, so in particular, those guys all fit. Um, what have we got? I could keep going too, right? Like I said, if I started cutting this, this little 64th into a rectangular bit, um, then it would fit in there. Then it looks like um, I could do it again, and then that would be the old uh, 256th, and then I believe the next one is 1512th. Um, ooh, that little guy there, I'll shade him with my pen, would be 112 times 2 is a 1 over 1024. Um, and then if we had a sharper pen, we could probably get 1 over 2048 inside here. Um, but there's no reason to stop just because your pen's not very sharp. But in, in your mind, you can see how this, uh, this pattern continues just by alternating, you know, a rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, rectangle, square, all the way deep into the page, and, and they all fit, right? It's pretty clear that they all fit.